morning. Welcome to Pilates. From my home to yours, virtual Pilates. So if you are getting ready to start, make sure you have your mat and blocks. That's all you need today. So uh, get fit and fierce with Pilates. Hopefully you have your water with you. And let's get started. It is almost 9.30, just waiting for someone to log, log in now. Um, if everyone's logged in, let's get started. Let's see, oh hi. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start first standing up. So I'm teaching from home today since I'm teaching college all day, so I can't really go anywhere. All right, create a triangle, index fingers together, thumbs together. Create that inverted triangle right by the pelvic uh, area. Pull it in and up, navel to the spine, have your feet hip distance apart, shoulders down. Let's start the thoracic breathing in Pilates, in through the nose, out through the mouth. The entire time, keeping the core engaged, just flaring out the rib cage. Five of these before we begin our workout. Here we go. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep the core engaged and the pelvic floor engaged. Open the rib cage, open the chest, open it all the way up to the clavicle. One more breath. One more breath. All right, let's get strong. So let's begin our warm up with chair pose. Flowing with the breath, inhale to breath. Exhale, chair, arms up. Come back, arms down, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, good. Now, pulse over to the right. Pulse over to the left. Keep going. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. This is a little tough, getting everything warmed up. Quads are working hard. Good, keep going. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Step, step. Lots of chairs here. Step. Pulse, step, pulse, step, pulse. One more time. Step, pulse, step, pulse. Good job. All right, shake those legs out. You should feel nice and warmed up. Spread the legs apart. Turn the feet out. Okay, inhale. Exhale, prep position. Come down into this deep, deep, deep opening here. Opening the thighs, inhale. Exhale, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is pose, pulse, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch the quads. We'll come back to the quads in a second. Have your blocks in front of you longitudinally next to each other. Here's what we're gonna do. Inhale, exhale. Right hand up, pivot over to the right side. And left palm down on the block. Come up, swing the arms up, overhead and just to the opposite side. Make sure the hand that's out reaching towards the ceiling, the palm is facing outward. Arms up, inhale, exhale, twist over to the right. Inhale, exhale, twist over to the left. Keep going, eight more, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, 
three, two, one. Good. So I shake everything up. All right. We're going to work the obliques now. Stand up first. Catch your breath. Four deep breaths. Engage everything. Pelvis, abdomen. Flare out the rib cage. Five breaths. All right, take the hands, fingertips touching the sides of the head. You're going to bring that left knee to the left elbow, right knee to the right elbow. And in between, you do a chair, okay? So left, chair, right, chair. Try to bring the knee to the elbow and not the elbow to the knee. Okay, here we go. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Left knee down, left knee down. 
Okay. Right foot, left foot, squat. That was number five. Good. Here we go. Number six. Right, left, squat. Right knee down, left knee down. Number seven. Right, left, squat. Right knee down, left knee down. And last one. Right, left, squat. Right knee down, left knee down. And stretch the quads. Take the hands behind you. Four deep breaths here. Good. All right. Now that we're on our knees, I'm going to face you for the next exercise. Have your blocks in front of you. Curl your toes under. See, my toes are curled under. And we're going to start with the right leg out. Okay. And I'll demonstrate. Have your shoulders right over your lip wrists. This one's a little hard as well. Working the thigh muscles, toning the thighs. Lift and down. Lift and down. Try not to move your body, just the leg. All right? 10 reps here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And widen the blocks if you need to. 5, Four, three, two, one. Good. Get cramped up. That's normal. All right. Widen the blocks if you need to. If that gives you better balance. Put all your weight on that left knee. That's why I have a blanket. Okay. Put the inside of your foot on the mat. Flex the foot. And now I'm going to lift ten times on this opposite side. Tummy in back flat. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Let's do child's pose with the blocks. Extend the arms overhead, hands on the blocks. This stretches the shoulders deeper. Perhaps open the knees out, bring the hips to the heels. More breaths here. Three breaths. One breath. Good. All right. Now, we're going to bring the leg out to the side. Here's what we're going to do again. Leg up to the side. Bring it back. Leg up behind. And then tuck it in and repeat. Okay? So eight of these. Side. Slide back. Back kick. Tuck in. Repeat. Side. Slide back. Lift, tuck in, repeat. Number three, side, slide back, lift, tuck in, repeat. I'm sweating so much, my glasses are falling off. Side, back, lift, tuck in, repeat. That's number four. Up, slide, back, tuck in, repeat. Number five, lift, slide back, lift and kick that back leg up, tuck in, repeat. Number six, side, Slide back, lift, tuck in, repeat. Number seven, up, side, back, tuck in, repeat. Last one, side kick, slide back, back kick, tuck in, and repeat over to the side, and rest. All right, rest. I'm sure you're sweating. I am dripping. So stay calm, focused. We're just starting. It's only 10 minutes in. Close your eyes, recuperate with your breath. As we move to the opposite side after three breaths. All right. So um, remember to have your wrist shoulder width apart, as wide as you feel comfortable, whatever it takes. All right, now I'm gonna take the right leg to the side. Remember, kick side, Slide back, back kick like an arabesque, tuck in and repeat. Here we go, I want 10 now. Now that you got the uh, hang of this move, this exercise, here we go. Side kick, slide back, back kick, tuck in and repeat. Side kick, slide back, keep the knees straight, back kick, tuck in and repeat. Number three, up, side, up, 
back side, tuck in. That was number four. Here we go. Side kick, slide back, back kick, tuck in, number five. All right, side kick, slide back, back kick, tuck in, number six. Side kick, slide back, back kick, tuck in, repeat, number seven. Side kick, slide back, back kick, tuck in, number eight. Here we go, two more. Side kick, slide back, back kick, tuck in, and repeat. All right, two, one more. Slide back, back kick, tuck in, and bring the leg out. Wonderful. On a movement profile view, child's pose, rest here. One more exercise where we're going to work our quads. Place your blanket aside for now. And we're going to stand up, neutral spine, create that triangle, tummy in, nice and straight. Recuperate three breaths, two breaths, one breath. Okay, here's what we're doing. You're going to take the right leg back, lunge, twist to the left, twist to the right, return, chair pose, and then take the left foot back, twist to the right, twist to the left, return, chair pose. So let me demonstrate first. Why do this and talk it out? Because now you're catching your breath <laughs> and you're resting. All right, so right leg back, twist to the left, twist to the right, come back, swing, chair pose. Return. Now the other side. Left foot back, lunge, twist to the right, twist to the left, return, swing, chair, and so on and so forth. Repeat, okay? So we're going to do this eight times. It's tough. Hands in the front. Okay, we'll start with the right leg back, lunge. To the left, center. To the right, center. Right foot forward, swing the arms back, chair. Return. Good. Neutral spine. Left foot back. Lunge. Turn to the right. Center. Turn to the left. Center. Return. Swing. Chair. And come back. That was two. All right. Now we go to the opposite side. Right leg back. Turn to the left. Center. Turn to the right. Center. Right foot forward. Swing the arms. Chair. Return. Now we go to the left foot. Left foot back. Turn to the right, center, to the left, center, left foot forward, swing, return. Three more. Here we go. Neutral spine, right leg back, lunge. Keep that body straight, tummy in. Left turn, right turn. Right foot forward, swing, chair, come back. Good. Other side. Left foot forward, left foot back, sorry. Turn to the right, center, turn to the left. Center, left foot forward, swing, come back, all right, tummy in, neutral spine, right foot back, lunge, turn to the left, center, turn to the right, center, feet together, swing the arms, chair, let's make this the last one, shall we, make it good, ready, inhale, exhale, left foot back, deep lunge, turn to the right, center, turn to the left, Center, left foot forward, swing the arms, chair, and return. Good job, shake it up. You'll be happy to know we're coming down to the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, foot forward. Coming to a downward dog. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some arm work. So, we're gonna come into downward dog. Turn over to the left, left hand up. Hand on the hip, drop the hip. You can bend the knees if it's too hard. Come up and back. Down we go. Plank. Turn over to the right. Right hand up. Right hand on the hip. Keep that right foot in front of the left. Drop the hip. Lift the hip and come back to plank. Okay? Three more. Downward dog. Plank. Turn to the left. Left hand up. Left hand on the hip, 
Hip dip, drop the hip, lift, and back to plank. Good. Downward dog, plank, turn to the right, right hand up, hand on the hip, hip dip, lift, and plank. Good. Last one. Make it good. Downward dog, plank, turn over to the left, left hand up, onto the hip, drop the hip, lift, back to plank, and downward dog. Rest in child's pose, perhaps take the hands behind you. Allow those arms to rest. We still have a lot to do with the arms. We already did the thighs. Now we're doing the arms. And of course, we'll end with back and abs. Abs first and back. Okay, so these are called body ups. We've done these before. Let me move the block out of the way so you can see me as well as the blanket. All right, I'm gonna come down onto the tummy. Hands should be right by the chest. No elbows out, hug the elbows towards the body. Lift the chest up, come into plank, and come down. Looks easy. Repeating it 10 times does not make it easy. Here we go. One, two, engage the abs while arching the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, make it good, push, and go into downward dog. Good. All right, let's go into child's pose and rest. Hit, plank on the elbows. So, on the same theme that we started with, you're gonna bring the left leg out and return. Right leg out and return, keep the plank. Here we go. One, return. Sideways, you can put the foot down on the right. Return, put the foot down to the left side. Return, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, and rest in child's pose. Hands behind the heels, knees together. Come up onto the knees. Rest here, four breaths. Okay, the next exercise we're doing is you're on the elbows in plank. Come up onto the hands and push up position. Tap the left shoulder, tap the right shoulder. Come back down onto the elbows, okay? All right. Since we did 10 of the side extensions, um, we'll just do eight of these, okay? So onto the elbows. Interlace your hands. Come into plank. Feet apart, hip distance. Tuck your tailbone under. Here we go. Onto the hands, push up position, tap the left shoulder, tap the right shoulder, down onto the elbows. Repeat. Two, tap, tap, elbows. Three, tap, tap, elbows. Four, tap, tap, elbows. Five, tap, tap, elbows. Six, tap, tap, elbows. Seven, tap, tap, elbows. Eight, tap, tap, and child's pose, rest. 
our classic bird dog. Time is it? All right, we got a good half hour left. Starting the core work now. So what I want you to do is take one block in front. Start with the right knee on this block, the back block. The front block should be on the left hand. So right knee, left hand. Track it so the block is to the right, the front block is to the left. The back block is to the right, the front block is to the left. Your wrist should be lined up with the left shoulder. Your knee should be lined up with the right hip. Now, extend the left leg behind you, knee straight, square hips, right hand straight ahead, over the head, one long line. Now, tuck the left knee in and the right elbow, and extend. All right, let's do 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. Now we take the back block to the left for the left knee. Take the front block to the right for the right hand. Okay. Make sure your block is lined up with the wrist and shoulder. And make sure your back block is lined up perfectly so that the knee is just underneath the hip. All right, here we go. Square the hips, left hand forward, lift the right leg up. Tuck the left knee, I'm sorry, tuck the right knee and the left elbow in and extend. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Good. All right, let's do child's pose. Rest, you can place your hands on the block. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Rest. Child's pose. Take the blocks to the side. Four breaths here. Legs around and take one block between the thighs longitudinally. Okay, let's do some ab work. Take the other block horizontally, lean back where the wall meets the ceiling. That's where you push that block. Lean back, back straight, tummy in, shoulders down. And bend the elbow straight. Bend, straight. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath, exhale, execute. Two. Three, four, squeeze the thighs. Five, six, keep the feet on the mat. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now straighten out the elbows. Keep that tight. Squeeze the block between the thighs. Tummy in, back flat, and Russian twist. Here we go. Exhale, center, twist, center, right, center, twist. Keep going. Eight, eight, seven, seven, right, center, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center. Keep going. Come on, push yourself. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, Two, one, one, and I'm sure you're dead tired now. Rest. Take the block out of the way. Rest here in Shavasana. Take a couple of deep breaths. Recuperate because it's not over. It is now exactly 10 o'clock. Halfway through. Five more breaths. Okay, here we go. Now, 
all you are going to do is lift up, look between the thighs. Hands are by the hips. You're going to toe tap one and return. The other and return. Ten. Ten. Nine. Remember to engage the abs. Really look at your abs. If they're sticking up, you're, you're not engaged. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Good. Stretch out the legs. Take the right hand to the left shoulder, elbow up. Left hand to the right shoulder. And we're going to lift up and hold and look at our toes. Here we go. Ready? Set. Up you go and hold. Keep the elbows up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, use the abs on your neck. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. Alright, so you're going to bring the right leg up. Left foot up and left hand between the thighs, right hand to the outside of the right thigh. So it's pulse, pulse, scissor, switch, pulse, pulse, okay? Ten of these. Pulse, 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 pulse. Nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, Four, three, three, two, two, one, one, and rest. Good. Windshield wipers. All right, let's do those obliques. This one's easy. Just alternating so that we can recuperate before we move to the next exercise. So bring your knees up. Bring them over to the left. Bring the knees up. Bring them over to the right. So you're gently engaging the obliques and the abs. Up. Over to the left. Here we go. Five. And up. Four. And up. Three. And up. Two and up. One and up. Good. Windshield wipers. So knees over to the right, knees over to the left. Recuperate. Okay. Now take your block and again place it between the thighs. And you're going to come up, palms together, you're going to come up, touch the block with your hands, come down, come up, take the right hand to the right ankle, come down, take the left hand to the left ankle, and come down. That's one cycle. So center, right, left, center, right, left, center, right, left, ten of these. Here we go. Ten, right, left, nine, right, Left, keep lifting. Eight, right ankle. Left ankle tap. Seven, touch the block. Right ankle. Lift, left ankle. Six, right ankle. Left ankle. Five, right ankle. Left ankle. Four, right ankle. Left ankle. Three. Right ankle. Left ankle. Two. Right ankle. Left ankle. One. Right ankle. Left ankle. And rest. Take the block away. Rinse your wipe. Ah. 
happy baby. Grab the hands to the feet. Roll back and lift. Tap, tap, roll back 
and lift. Two more. Tap, tap. Roll back and lift. Good. Tap, tap. Roll back and lift. And now we're going to hold it here. Back nice and straight. Five, four, three. Takes control. Two and one. Good. All right. Now keep the legs apart. A little bit beyond the mat. This is not a straddle. This is not a flexibility exercise. It's the soft. It's about the obliques. It's about squeezing. It's almost like if someone's punching you, you're going to create that C-shaped spine. Engage, pull the pelvic floor in and up, turn and twist. And as you twist, your right hand saws the right thigh. Your left hand, the palm is facing the ceiling and goes far behind you. So you're twisting as much as you can and pulsing, okay? Then you go on the other side. So that's the saw. Okay, feet are flexed, back is nice and straight in the beginning, arms are out transverse. Inhale to prep, exhale, scoop hollow and round that back and pulse, pulse. Come up, scoop hollow and round that back and pulse, pulse. Keep going, that was one. Pulse, pulse, up, pulse, pulse, that was two, up, Scoop hollow around that back, pulse, pulse, up. Scoop hollow around that back, twist, pulse, pulse. That was three. Pulse, pulse, and up. Pulse, pulse, that was four. One more time, scoop hollow around that back, twist, pulse, pulse, and up. Scoop hollow around that back, pulse, pulse, that was five. Good. Okay, now. Here's a new one. You're gonna to try to balance. Bend the knees, arms are out. And without touching the floor, you're gonna straighten one knee, and then you're gonna straighten the other. Keep going. This is really hard. Takes a lot of control. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Good. Hold forward, rest in forward fold. Okay. Bend the knees. We're going to do another crazy one. an hour Pilates, so we have time to try new things. And if you can't do it, that's fine. But it's important to try new things and uh, confuse the body, because that's how we get really strong. So you're going to come into tabletop. You can keep your fingers facing the body or out, whatever feels comfortable. You're going to lift up. And all you're going to do is take your left hand, toe tap to the right foot. Now lean over, right hand, toe tap to the left foot, OK? so. One, and back, one. Switch, left hand, right foot, and back. Left foot, right hand, and back, keep going. Three, three, four, four, five, five. Try to keep the hips up, six, I know it's hard, I'm not even doing it, six. Seven, seven, Eight, eight, good. And relax and collapse, as I say. Ah, shake those arms. Now, here's the next thing we're going to do. Work the abs as you come up. So inhale, come up, flex your toes. Don't touch your hands. And reach the toes. And roll your way down. Eight more. Here we go. Inhale up, reach forward, and come down. Seven. This is slow and mindful movement. Focus on really engaging the abs as you come up. Six. Reach forward. Round your back, navel to the spine, slowly come down. All right, that was 
five. Here we go. Four. Lean forward. Three. Some more exercises in my mind, 
but I think we did enough today. We did the glutes a lot. We did the thighs, the abs, and a lot of plank work for the arms. So at this point, I don't see the need for push-ups when you could do all these planks um, and a variety of plank exercises in Pilates should build your arms just as good. All right, here we go. Flex your toes, stretch the arms up, take deep breaths, hinge from the hips and reach forward. Five deep breaths here.